What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today we're going to dive into part three or our final part of building an online course website in Wix as we are going through this wild time with the coronavirus pandemic and I'm going to show you in a very quick and efficient way in this video how to go ahead and add course content into the database that we just built and show you how it looks displayed and that's all we're going to cover in our final part here. As a recap, in part one, we went ahead and we built out our Wix paid plan. So you have to build a landing page, a sales page, so that way you can push toward that Wix paid plan. You create plans where go ahead where people have the ability to purchase your online course. And then what happens is it'll take them through the process. They'll purchase your course through Wix paid plans. And then Wix paid plans will prompt them to register for an account. Then they can use this little login bar to log in, and it'll actually go ahead and take them to their my account page where they can edit their account details and then they have the ability in this little member menu to access the course and then in part two what we did is we actually built the infrastructure for the course content so we built the repeater in the database and right now we built it so that way it'll display a video title in the video itself again you can get as sophisticated and complex with the type of pages the amount of pages the type of course content all of that within databases and the pages themselves but I wanted to give you a bare bone system on how to go ahead and get up and running right now during this whole coronavirus pandemic so that way you can take opportunity as it's here as people are online searching for new skills trying to acquire them from you the person that's got the knowledge building the course so in this last part what we're going to do is we're going to actually add our data on this page to do that we're going to go to content manager we're going to go to course content as you remember we built the database we are then going to go ahead and add our title we're just going to say peer to peer messaging now the video as i mentioned i use youtube as a hosting platform you can use youtube or vimeo you can't upload native video yet but you can take the link from either one of those platforms and it'll display that output video now if you do or i should say when you do use one of those platforms make sure you make the video either private or unlisted so that way publicly people can't just come to your channel or search it on youtube or vimeo and find it remember people are paying for your course so you don't want that to happen however if you do private or unlisted people won't be able to find it and they'll only be able to access it here on your site because you're the one with the link and that's it so in order to do that, what you have to do is you have to go to your platform of choice, whether that's YouTube or Vimeo. I went here. I just took my last video that I uploaded, copy the URL, and then you're going to go ahead and paste it in here just like that. And now we've actually got data here in our database. Quick note. We are currently working in the sandbox database, which is essentially like the editor version of the database, which means the data in here can be manipulated and people on the publish site will never see it however that's a double-edged sword so anything you do and change in here won't be public unless you make it public however if you do upload all of your course content while you're in the editor in here you need to make sure you copy it over to the live database to do that you would press sync and you would copy all the items in your sandbox database to live or maybe you don't want all of the items from this database to live you just want some of them to live you would then press copy selected items and you'll take selected items from the sandbox database the sandbox database allows you to just kind of test functionality make sure it's working and it'll work in the editor so you'll be able to preview all the sandbox data in the editor on preview mode but in published mode you would not only live data will be able to be viewed on the publish site and that's how that works so we just copied it over to live now what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna go ahead and show you what took place and we are gonna press save and voila so we can see from the last time when I was entering the data in here I entered it twice on a testing run so we can see I've uploaded peer-to-peer -peer messaging and you can see 
right here that it's got the video title and then the video output as I was mentioning so now you can see we've got two pieces of content here now I put the same two pieces of content in the database however you can obviously come in here and upload as much content as you want and that's how you do it and this is how it looks it's got our video title and our video output and that's how you put the video content out here in your online course I I hope this video has been helpful I would kindly ask you to drop a like down below comment if you've got any questions I'm here as a resource to help and remember you can get as sophisticated with this as you want you can build out multiple modules multiple pages different types of content you know video audio PDFs, all that good stuff with different databases, but I wanted to show you the bare bones version so that way you can get up and running with your online course website now as everybody during this whole coronavirus pandemic is kind of quarantined at home and has time to spend learning new skills from that knowledge you possess and you're building an online course with. And I hope this video helped you achieve that as we just finished part three of our little mini series here on how to build an online course website in Wix. I would kindly ask that you subscribe because we are not done here on the channel with content. We've got a whole bunch more coming, especially helpful content to help you during this whole coronavirus pandemic. Hit those bell notifications on so you never miss any of it and you'll instantly plug into 34,000 plus like-minded entrepreneurs. Again, I appreciate you joining me here on the channel. Stay healthy, stay safe out there. I wish good health to both you and your family. And I'm excited to see what you're able to build. And remember to find the opportunity in wild and hectic times like these. Expand, not contract. Catch you on our next one.